I woke up this morning kind of late, like noon late, which is uncommon for me since I can rarely justify sleeping until noon. However, last night I stayed up until 1.30 a.m. reading Cassie Clare's Tumblr and texting my friend Sam about exoskeleton pajamas. Don't ask. After I caught up on Twitter, I made myself some breakfast and realized that not only did I have to make a video today, but that it was also going to be my last video of 2011. This struck me, not because I didn't know 2011 was ending soon, but because knowing that something is the last always seems really daunting. This year, I turned 19, finished my freshman year of college, and started my sophomore year. I traveled to Budapest, Hungary with my speech team for a week. I started a collab channel with Nerdfighters from all over the world, making friends that wouldn't be possible without YouTube and the Nerdfighteria community. I watched my friend Gustavo try to devour a giant donut in under a minute. I taught myself to cook and, as a result, got a lot of cooking-themed Christmas presents from my wonderful friends and family. I started a cooking show with my roommates as a result of this newfound skill, and so far we've made potato pizzas, garlic bread, cookies, polenta, French toast, enchiladas, risotto, crepes, pumpkin hummus, pumpkin souffle, pumpkin curry, an entire Thanksgiving meal, and a gingerbread crack house. But more than that, we've had a ton of fun doing it. This year I got my own bedroom at school and moved in with some of my best friends. I went to Washington, D.C. for the first time since I was 14 and owled. I went to a Jack's Mannequin concert and almost got kicked out for filming, but kept filming anyways. I spent my first Thanksgiving away from home. I wrote a monologue for a supervillain, a short story about superheroes, a short play about zombies, and a blog post about how Kristen Stewart isn't an actress, which really shouldn't surprise anyone. This year, I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, and I wouldn't trade in all the experiences and friends and fun and heartbreak that I've had this year for anything in the world. So thank you everyone, from my family to my friends and to you, my YouTube subscribers, for making this year such an excellent one. Now, I may not believe that the world is going to end next December, but let's make 2012 the best damn year we can anyways. Happy New Year!